evening. It takes place in the Bantamweight division and features two guys with but a single loss between them. James Gordon Smith and Joshua, don't blink, Greer Jr. 22-year-old Joshua Greer Jr. Been a pro for almost a year and a half now. He's fought 13 times so far. Tonight, he moves up to the scheduled eight-round distance for the very first time. Although the Chicago native uses quickness as his ticket to success, Greer knocked an opponent out in 24 seconds in one of his early professional fights. That earned him the nickname, Don't Blink. He prepared for this fight by sparring with Adrian Granados, who was getting ready for his fight with Adrian Broner. So that's a look at Joshua Greer Jr. And Steve, let's go behind the numbers with him. Well, for Joshua Greer, Barry, we start with well-timed jump. Greer's advancing from six rounders to his first scheduled eight rounder, and he's doing so with some momentum. He fought no less than eight times in 2016, and he won them all more than half. Comparing quality of opposition, more than half of Greer's bouts have come against opponents with winning records. In contrast, only two of Smith's 11 opponents have been winners. And soft hands, the KO numbers don't lie. Greer has only four KOs in 13 fights. When you've repeatedly gone the distance against entry-level opposition, you're usually not much of a puncher. Pretty loosey-goosey coming into this fight, too. James Gordon Smith, born and raised here in Detroit. He had an amateur career of nearly 120 fights. That included a National Golden Gloves bronze medal. Gordon Smith undefeated as a professional. He stopped half of his opponents. He has been brought along rather slowly though. Just 12 fights over a six plus year professional career. He too has not gone past six rounds in any of his fights to date. Gordon Smith is a pressure fighter who says, I'm not here to look pretty. I am here to hurt people. I'm going to be the one swinging from bell one to the end of the fight. And he's dressed for the occasion. Steve, let's go behind the numbers with James Gordon Smith. Well, the blue Bantamweight is a big Bantamweight. Smith is the naturally bigger fighter. He's been 119 for his last two bouts, but early in his career, he fought as high as 130. Inching along, for a fighter who turned pro back in 2011, Smith should have advanced further by now. A 25-month layoff from 2013 to 2015 really slowed him down. And bad boy, Smith is from Detroit, Greer is from Chicago. Memories of Isaiah Thomas versus Michael Jordan back in the day. But this one is being played in Motown, so advantage Smith. He looks like a cross between a hockey goalie and Picasso. <laughs> All right, that's the setup for our first fight of the evening. This four-fight showbox card. James Gordon Smith, Joshua Greer Jr., Bantamweights scheduled for eight rounds. Let's get to the center of the ring for the first time tonight. The introduction of the fighters. Here is our ring announcer, Pete Trevino Jr. Pete. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the event center here at MGM Grand Detroit for Showbox the New Generation. Brought to you by Salida Promotions in association with MGM Grand Detroit and Showtime. All of this evening's matchups have been sanctioned under the auspices of the State of Michigan Unarmed Combat Commission. Now introducing the three judges scoring ringside. First, from Copley, Ohio, Ben Rochester. From New York, New York, Waleska Ralden, and from Detroit, Michigan, Ansel Stewart. And the man in the middle of the fight responsible for keeping it clean and fair is referee Harvey Dock. The following contest is scheduled for eight rounds in a Bantamweight division, introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks trimmed in silver, Standing five feet, four inches tall, he weighed in at 116 and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring with a record of 11 wins, one loss and one draw, with four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, here is Joshua Don't Blink Greer Jr. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, 
wearing the blue trunks trimmed in gray and silver. Standing five feet three inches tall, he weighed in at 116 and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring undefeated with a record of 11 wins, no losses, and one no contest. With six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is O.G. James Gordon Smith. And now referee Harvey Doc with your fight instruction. Okay, guys, we went over the instructions already. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you. Come out at the back. Night, night. These two almost went at it at the press conference earlier this week. We take a look at the numbers. Interesting that both of these Bantamweights weighed in at the lightest of their respective careers. In fact, look at Greer, 116 and three quarters, three pounds lighter than he's ever been. The rules here are the unified rules, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule, only the ref can stop the fight. You can aim to be saved by the bell in any round, and if there's an accident, the foul that brings a stoppage before the end of round four, no decision. After that, we go to the cards for a technical decision. Barry. All right, with that, we are set to go. Long night of boxing here in Detroit. Interesting, I ran into people from both these guys' corners just before we went on the air, and they both said it's going to be a short fight. So we'll see. Well, their styles, yes. They, they, they come right at their opponents, especially uh, James Gordon Smith. Double left hand from Greer. And of course, you got to remember uh, they're fighting on TV. They're, this is showtime, this is showbox, so there's a lot of pressure for these young up and coming prospects. Sometimes they, they get too over anxious and tend to make mistakes. A lot of punches and a lot of punches connecting early in this fight. Good chopping right hand. I think that definitely got Gordon Smith's attention. Gordon Smith, amateur experience. He fought in the National Golden Gloves in 07, 08, and 09. 60 amateur fights for Greer, but nothing at the national level. And pro experience, you see James Gordon Smith turned pro way before, but has only one less fight. Smith bringing the fight, but taking the most punishment in this first round. Yes, yeah, Smith said he wanted to see how Greer takes big shots. Well, he hit him with big shots already. He took him pretty well, and he came back with some big shots of his own. So, Gordon Smith, he knows he's in a fight now. Pretty effective round, actually, for both guys. I think Greer probably a little busier of the two. Greer clearly wants to counterpunch. Good left hand there by Gordon Smith. Right hand of the body, and another left hand of the body by Smith. Both good shots. I think Greer a little bit tighter with his defense. You see his frame defense keeping his hands up, elbows in. You see uh, Gordon Smith a little bit too wild. We're just using the ring more, controlling the range, the distance. Nice movement there by him. Lead, lead right hand. And he's making a miss too. Sneaky little uppercut by Gordon. Uh oh, he's trying to show box down. <laughs> These guys are fighting. Showboat, I'm saying. Good oh. body shot. Wow. From Gordon Smith. <laughs> they are winging it, guys. Yeah, they are. And you know, when you're scheduled to fight at this, you've never fought at before, which these guys are both from six round fighters. This intensity early could be, make stamina a big factor later on. Combination from Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith wins the last part of the round, Greer wins the first part of the round. So who won the round? <laughs> I give up. Come up, come up. To be decided in the last 15 seconds here. Get another good right hand from Gordon Smith. They both had their moments here. Heck of a round. Talk to both guys about what they need to do first. Here's James Gordon Smith. He can't punch his way out of wet paper bag. And I, I can punch. And I, that's going to be my biggest attribute, as, basically as a small guy, is that I can punch. And then I, I'm always in tremendous shape, and I let my hands go. And if I get them hurt, oh, I'm going to keep punching. That's the last, yeah, all my coaches know, I, I'm going to let my hands go. So that's, we don't never have to worry about that.
He's uh, come for a fire, make a lot of mistakes, and I'm going to capitalize on every mistake that he make and um, put pressure on him and break him, break him down. See Greer looking to counterpunch the whole time, looking to make Smith's aggressiveness work against him, and he landed a really nice right uppercut there coming out of the corner. So we cover the second round, very entertaining first round. This fight scheduled for eight rounds. First time both these guys have gone that distance or have been scheduled for that distance. Barry, you said entertaining. They landed a combined 58 punches. That's entertaining. Also powerful punches, right? I mean, that's that's a heck of a lot of punches landed for a first round. It is. And as you said, neither of these guys has gone the scheduled distance. Good right hand from Greer. Yeah, Greer's really being smart in there. He's uh, capitalizing, like you said. I'm Gordon Smith's mistakes. Oh, nice counter again there by that was. Greer. He keeps catching them. I was caught on the gloves. Combinations again by Gordon Smith, but Greer doing a pretty good job off the ropes. A lot of those punches of Gordon Smith were either deflected on the gloves or caught on the gloves. Yeah, he was really focused and he was blocking a lot of the shots that landed uh, on his uh, shoulders or gloves, like you said, Barry. And I keep telling you, he's, he's just a smarter fighter in there so far. And that's why when he... Oh, good oh. right hand. Sharp right hand from Greer. And another one. And that hurt Gordon Brown. Or Gordon Smith. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion? That Gordon Smith's the kind of fighter that if he gets hurt, he's just going to play bombs away. Like, of course. He's not taking the safe route. And that's where he makes the mistake. Another, oh, another big right hand. And a good body shot. And a right hand sail over the head of Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith is too anxious. He's, he's making a big mistake by standing there and trading blow by blow with, uh, with Greer. Did slip a left uppercut in there. And a slapping left hand. And another counter right. And that's been the weapon for Greer so far. This fight has been exactly as advertised. Look at Gordon Smith's weight. He's on his front leg. I think he's hurt. I think he's, he's dazed. Well, he slowed down. He's no doubt. Doubt. Yeah. He, He's stumbling. Good Stop. body Stop. shot, but it's straight Keep low. Keep those punches up. But you know Let's what? Go. He needs to do more of that. He's been missing upstairs. He's got to pound the body more, especially when he has Greer against the ropes. He did it the first round. There's a good right hand again. It almost knocked him sideways. Now he's hurt. And then a left hand. And an uppercut just a little short. Gordon Smith trying to fight back. Greer covering up right now. Smith against the ropes. Beautiful counters by Greer. Really looking up, for, looking for the openings as Gordon Smith keeps opening up. He did stagger him a moment ago, but Gordon Smith seems okay now. It's a war. Time. Listen, listen. Now, hey, get put it on the air. No hug, get back. Take this breath. Okay, okay, that's what he's doing. Motherfucker throwing the hook and catch you with the right hand. So what you're doing is, Red, what you're doing is, what you're doing is you're doing this. So he's throwing the hook right hand. So look, side back. Keep, listen, keep my jabbing this guy, Red. Listen. Bye. The right hand has been the weapon of choice for Greer. Right there taking advantage of the fact you see that Gordon Smith's left hand was a little low there. And Gordon Smith tried to ro ride with the punch. You know, all week long. Well, let's look at the corner. Right. Say something. Don't blow your nose. Say something. Right. Listen, you're doing real good. You got to stay focused. Don't get into fighting his fight. Keep fighting your fight. Your jab will work. 